overtaking you on two here. It's Chris. Uh, you know, the tension on the security floor is palpable. Everyone's waiting for that big moment when we'll see who is the fastest, the strongest. For the company, five, four, three, two, one. to see what happens. Stand by for more hot tugboat action. Oh, this is going to hurt. And folks, that are off at Pier I. You can hear the engines. You can see the steam. You can see the water churning as a fleet of a dozen tugboats heads down the Hudson River as part of the 27th annual tugboat race. The horns are blasting, the crowds are cheering, we're underway. The bedding window is now closed. The tugboats are underway, the race has begun, the course is closed. Wait only for the race to be run, and we'll see who the winner is. Gotham Tuck's Pathfinder is off to an early lead, but of course we see the Alba McAllister pulling through the field. We've got a couple of push boats in the race these days, doing their best to hold the waters churning as they head down the river with all they've got. Those pathfinders doing so well. Those engines are. Those are just becoming okay. visible down here at Pier 84. Down there, just like making sure it's good. Vinic number six and Ava McAllister are practically neck and neck, breaking free from the pack, but Pathfinder has just one more to maintain her lead. The speed is the sun's come down. Oh, and the I wouldn't want to be a person rowing a skull in the path of those tugboats. I, got I, would, I would move my sculling boat off the course. I think we might have the Ava here. We're making 11, we're 11.5. We got them. How's the Ava doing? They're making 11, we're making 11.5. I thought you were talking about the Pathfinder. How's uh, Pathfinder, Pathfinder doing? They're making 10-6. Oh, okay. Amazingly, Pathfinder from Norfolk Tug is still in the lead. Looks like a, a second, and it's just about to come in. Cool from our heels, Alba McAllister, and several tugs in a cluster, along with the Fire Bay Harvey racing down the coast of Manhattan. I don't know how they're supposed to build those, huh? There must be, there must be slow AIS yeah. to update. We might lose this because of that. They were already moving. That fast count, I'm telling you, that fast countdown hurts. Yeah. He's added a tide more. We're at 12, we're past yeah. that now. We're tied in the middle here, we're bucking. Here they come, won't be to anything that's in their way. That kind of power cannot be stopped. Tugboats can, can spin on a dime, but they can't stop on a dime. The amount of inertia from a 500-ton tugboat... All right, we are obviously ahead of the island now. There's no brakes, there's no road. These tugs are plowing through a moving river current. They carry a man to push that up the Doing all we can. Mike, I think we're going to hit this. This is ours. If we had a little more time, I mean, we're making a knot better than them. We're making yeah, we're, we're still going to have enough. Well, this is where the uh, traditional distinctive colors of the tugboats come into play. Tugboats would always paint their boats distinctive colors so that they could be recognized in the harbor back in the early days. And it still helps us now. We can see both the uh, distinctive colors of Vinic Marine and Norfolk's tug company. Will it be? are built for power, they're not generally built for speed, of course, without a barge, without cargo they're pushing or pulling, they're capable of reaching tremendous speeds now. Look at the bow wake in front of Vinic number six there, it's a four foot bow wake as she plows oh, all yeah. that water underneath her deep draft ahead of her. We got this one. on the 
the pier. Not anybody's race. <laughs> big ocean going, big number six. Circle that motif. Or the Ava McAllister with her powerful, maneuverable <laughs> sea drives. And then following up in lower classes, we've got the Norfolk Tugs, the Francis, the push boat. Who will it be? Always in a class by herself, the W.O. Decker is still in the fight. They're closing in on the finish line, marked by the Army Corps of Engineers Haywood. Look at those boats push, look at them go, look at the wakes they're turning up on the Hudson River today.